try this one hack to get this remote to control any devices in your house, no matter if it was a smart TV, a soundboard, or this projector. Today's simple tip can help your Fire TV remote can pair to them just in a snap. Before getting started, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to support our team. All right, let's get straight to the video. All right, in this video, we're gonna go through the projector and the TV in the later part. Now, let's get to this BenQ in here. As usual, you can plug directly your Fire Stick or Fire Cube to the projector via the SDMI port and open your streaming content. But the point is here, and the same with any other device. You cannot control the volume or some functions like a basic remote with this Fire TV remote here. So, here's my how-to for pairing this Fire Remote to this BenQ projector. First, we're gonna plug the Fire Stick into the projector. Make sure you put the power onto the stick. Normally, you can use the USB port on this BenQ as a power source, but I will recommend connecting the stick into another external power source like a wall outlet. I will explain in a few upcoming steps. Then, let's power on both devices and set up the projector. The so BenQ projected the Fire TV home screen that has the equipment controlled in the settings. Select Manage Equipment, TV, and Chain TV. Then select your projector. Then the Fire TV will ask, did your TV turn off and then back on when you press the power button? We're gonna wait for a minute and hit no option to continue the setup. Otherwise, the Fire TV will end the process soon later. Next, the Fire TV will test the sound. When the option pops up, we will hit the option button on the remote for advanced settings. Fire TV now is asking you for the IDA code. It is basically a specific signal or language the remote used to communicate with the projector. In this case, the Fire TV has already given you some options behind. Let's try one by one. Our goal is to find out which code can control both the volume and the power of the projector. By the way, the power here is to test on the projector. If you put the power for the Fire Stick from this USB port, the power source will shut down when you're in the middle of the process. So make sure the stick is powered from the external source. Another thing is you gotta see the announcement pop up from the projector setting interface, not the Fire TV. Here it's a file code, 130 is one for my case. Put it in the back and now, I can use the Fire Remote to turn this BenQ projector on and off. And if you have the idea to make this projector only for streaming content from the sticks, mount it or set up a dedicated streaming spot to take your binge watching up to the next level. No more switching remote back and forth. Another device that comes to the town is the TV. Again, the Fire Remote can pair and control the TV volume and here's how. Of course, we're gonna connect the stick to the TV and everything is powered on properly. Once you've changed the input and launched the Fire TV like the previous one, we will get to Settings, Equipment Control, Manage Equipment, TV, and Chain TV. Then at first, sometimes the Fire TV may ask, Oh, I just detected that your TV is Sony or any kind of brand. Is that yours? If that is the case, all you're gonna do is hit the Option button for the Advanced Settings. And then, we're gonna get walk around with the IR codes. After that, the Fire TV will ask some questions to configure your device. Try to turn off the TV, the volume, likewise. If you successfully done the process, it means the TV and the Fire Remote are connected. Now, with the Fire Remote, you've got complete control over the power and the volume of your TV. Alright everyone, that's it for today's video. Thanks for tuning in. Catch you in the next video.